It seems there's this ongoing, never-ending race towards the perfect piece of technology, and throughout most, if not all, of human history, this pursuit has greatly affected the way we survive. It's thanks to technology that we were able to cross vast seas, take flight through the air, and communicate with people from distances unimaginable. It's safe to assume that we as a human race wouldn't have been able to grow as effectively if it weren't for advancements in technology. However, as human civilization demanded more, technology got just as more intricate. Just think about where we stand today compared to where we were a mere 10 years ago. In 2006, the iPhone hadn't even come out yet. Wi-Fi hotspots varied by location, whereas nowadays there's Wi-Fi practically everywhere. Video on demand such as HBO Go and services as such were just beginning to come to fruition. The point I'm trying to make is, I'm sure that at least one of these technologies I just described, you probably thought to yourself, boy, how was I able to get through each day without that? Well, it's thoughts like those that help prove a vital point about our society that we live in. At one point in the past, technology depended on our involvement to grow. Now it seems we depend on our technology to live efficiently. Now, firstly, we must define the line between dependence and overdependence. There's a scholarly article which focuses in on the healthcare system's over-dependence on technology and its resulting adverse consequences. Now, the article states that it's reasonable to assume that some degree of dependence on any technological innovation will inevitably occur if the technology provides users with some perceived relative advantage over whatever system it supersedes. This can be said for television's effect on radio. Because television can display the show, rather than have its audience depend on envisioning the show, TV has a relative advantage over radio for the people who may not be as fluent at visual thinking as others. The article then goes into saying that this fundamentally differs from over-dependence on technology, in which those using technological innovations no longer treat them as flexible tools to support work activities, but instead make incorrect assumptions about how these systems work and begin to rely on them without question or skepticism to manage critical work activities. This can be said for GPS. If you think about it, most people solely rely on their GPS to get them to their destination, assuming that the technology will take them there in the safest, most efficient way possible. However, the last thing we think about is looking ahead at the route and determining what lanes to stay in and what turns to take in advance, which in turn would leave the GPS simply as a reminder to keep you on track once you actually commence the trip. Now with those definitions set in stone, let's take a look at how this relates back to the healthcare system. Well, the paper focuses in on unintended consequences servicing from personal overdependence on Computerized Provider Order Entry Systems, or CPOE, based upon the 300 unintended consequences caused by the five different hospitals studied. The article identifies themes related to overdependence, two of which being practice disturbance and loss of patient safety during system unavailability, and the perception that clinicians cannot work without CPOE technology. Starting with system availability, due to our overdependence on the technology, any instance of unavailability suddenly creates an environment of chaos. Now, there exists no such thing as a 100% reliable system. Even with a system that has 99% uptime, may potentially be unavailable for up to 14.6 hours a month. And in that unavailable time span, the staff are left completing the work that would typically be completed using the technology. But because they rely solely on the technology, they ineptly handle the problem and spend an average of 4.5 minutes to complete the work and to re-enter the data once the system comes back online. Now, for a 500-bed hospital, this results in about $264 per minute of downtime, which over a single year adds up to as much as $10 million lost. Onto the inability of clinicians to work without automated systems, 
The problem with this is that clinicians are not made aware that over-reliance on technology can be dangerous, especially when there exists the illusion that the technology can manage critical work activities without question or skepticism. No automated system can yet take note of subtle physical cues displayed by a patient, which is why many discourage self-diagnosing using mediums such as WebMD. The system may make an inaccurate assessment of the patient's condition, thus leading to a misdiagnosis. However, if the clinician were to utilize his or her education and experience in combination with the technology, a higher quality of care would be guaranteed. Now, don't get me wrong. I am very appreciative of the advances in technology we've been able to accomplish, many of which being absolutely miraculous. However, no matter how much progress we make towards achieving the perfect piece of technology, there will never exist a substitute to the most powerful technology in the world, the human brain. Our dependence on technology may never go extinct, so long as there is a television in the living room of every suburban household. The fact of the matter is not to let that dependence become an overdependence. Make use of raw human intellect. Make decisions based on your better judgment. And practice system downtime procedures. So long as we do this, if technology ever were to go down for good, it won't have to take the human race down with it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Informant's Journal. If you like this video and want more content just like this, all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd very much appreciate having you as a regular viewer. Thanks again, and as always, stay informed my friends.